everybody, Golden Era Bookworm here. Today I'm very pleased to showcase to you the Robert Baraban Iron Horseshoe. Uh, this thing is an absolute monster and it's right in the middle. You can see his initials are beats upside down. Um, uh, Robert was very kind to, to send one to me and um, I mean this, <laughs> I'm lost for words, uh, is, is just, I mean when I first got the package, I mean I'm rolling up my sleeves for God's sake, when I first Hope, uh, just held the package. I could feel the weight of this thing. This is solid steel. I mean, this is incredible. And the closest thing to it is has has to be the original York Iron Shoe, which is here on the side. Uh, on the other side, we have the Mr. Canada Iron Shoe from from the waiter. Right. I mean, the packaging is awesome, of course, but. It is inferior, completely inferior in quality because it is not solid, but it is basically a hollow tube. Um, yeah, I mean, what can I say? Look, um, I, I truly believe that this iron shoe created by Robert Baraban has to be th the greatest iron shoe I have ever seen, probably the best one in history. And I'm going to give you the reasons why. First of all, compare the size. I mean, when you compare the original uh, Joe Wader iron shoe, which will break in, in <laughs> just a few uses, really. When you compare that to the um, York iron uh, horseshoe, first of all, the York iron horseshoe, which only contains two springs. I think you could put up to three. Um, I mean, yeah, you can stretch it. You can see I'm... Ugh, right? That's two springs, right? That's two springs. Um, this is solid steel and it's it, it was pretty much the best in its day right and nowadays these things go for close to 500 bucks online first of all they're quite rare I mean this thing is heavy this thing is about you know I'd say five kilos maybe right four or five kilos it's heavy right and um, yeah they're, they're quite rare and even then, when you find one, they're very expensive because they're, they're solid steel. They last forever. I mean, they are a relic and they're excellent for training your grip, your strength, especially in your hands and your forearms. And, and if you're practicing uh, strength feats, of course, they're excellent at, at uh, helping you develop that strength for tearing things open, for, for getting things open, especially, for example, if you're, if you're training to, to bend iron, literally to bend a, a, a horseshoe, for example, a real horseshoe. These are excellent for these kinds of strength feats. And um, I don't want to lose track of what I'm trying to say, but when you compare the, the, the York iron shoe iron horseshoe with a joe waiter it just shat all over it literally i mean i don't mean i don't mean, I don't mean to be rude but this thing is so easy to to open in comparison and it's just you know it's not solid it, it weighs as light as a feather so waiters although it looked pretty was really in completely inferior in quality and I mean, now Robert comes out with this. I mean, this thing, this this incredible apparatus is bigger than the Waiter one, way bigger than the York Iron Horseshoe. And when I first held it, man, this thing is heavy. This thing is about, I don't know, well over five kilos, I would say. It's solid steel and you can put up to seven springs on it, I believe. Maybe even eight, right? Because you can put double springs just like... The, um, the York one, you can put two at each at each um, at each setting here with the nut and bolt. You can actually, sorry, you can bolt two springs here, so you can have two, four, six, eight springs. Can you believe that? This thing, built by an Austrian, Robert Baraban, was built for freaking Arnold Schwarzenegger. Hell, it was probably built for Hercules himself. It is so damn big. It is so goddamn huge. And it will develop incredible strength. I'm going to try the, the four. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I mean, side to side, it destroys Joe Wader's one. Absolutely. And it is a definite um, massive improvement to the York Iron Horseshoe. All I can say is that 
This thing is a beast. This thing is the, is the, is the best horseshoe, iron horseshoe I have ever put my hands on and that I'll probably put my hands on in my lifetime because it is massive and it has, you can put up to eight springs on this enormous beast. It is just incredible. Um, yeah, I mean, I just wanted to give you a comparison here. I don't think you'll find a comparison video like this on the internet at all. As you know, I'm a collector of old rare equipment, which is why I have the Iron Horseshoe from York, why I have the Mr. Canada Iron Horseshoe, which is, you know, terrible, from Joe Waiters. It looks pretty, and it does talk about the history of, for example, home gym equipment. But, man, this is another level. This isn't just a piece of home gym equipment. This is... This belongs in every strength gym in the world because it is a freaking animal of an apparatus. For all those people who are at home right now, and I mean, if, you, if you're looking at um, getting some good home gym equipment, go to Iron Gripper, I believe, irongripper.net, I think is it. I'm going to put the correct name of the website on, on the description of this video. But you're going to find, especially if you're working on your grip, on strength training, on strongman, this kind of apparatus, along with several other apparatuses that Robert Baraban uh, has brought back, and I say brought back and even improved on, for obvious reasons he's improved on it, um, are uh, a real godsend right now. Why? Because, well, with a lot of uh, home gym closures, uh, sorry, with a lot of gym closures around the world, for those that actually are able to order these or already have them, we can train at home. I mean, the advantage of using an iron horseshoe, as an example, is that if you're holding it like this, for example, you can start working pressing actions for your chest right, and simultaneously pull, which works your lats and your biceps. So I'm pressing with this arm, I'm pressing and I'm pulling with this arm. So you get a uh, double action, right? Um, and then you go on the other side and perform reps, right? So these are excellent tools for training your strength, especially at home. It gives you explosive power, right? Um, he's got a whole bunch of, um, of apparatuses for training strength and your grip. Brilliant apparatuses for your home. And I do recommend that basically any strength gym should, should definitely have this equipment. I mean, this will last you a lifetime. It will survive a goddamn nuclear holocaust. It is just pure, pure steel. I mean, it is just... Ah, I mean, this is just a, this is a goddamn weapon. I mean, it's just incredible. It's built. It's built to, to you know, to be held by Arthur Saxon, George Hackenschmidt, Hercules himself, I keep saying it, because this thing is, oh my god, it's an animal, it's a beast of, a, of an apparatus, it is fantastic, and I just want to tell you a little bit more about Robert, um, so as I said, he's, he's come out with a whole range of strongman apparatus, it honors the old time strongman apparatuses that used to exist about a hundred years ago that you don't see nowadays, go to the website and you're going to find a whole range of apparatuses that you probably have never ever seen before simply because he like me is an avid fan of the bronze era training methods this is what we're basically talking about we're talking about these apparatuses that were used by the likes of saxon sandow attila you know we're talking about the real strongmen with superhuman strength and of course they were de developing it by using these now lost training methods i mean grimmick also used this kind of stuff reg park had his own iron horseshoe very very similar to the york iron horseshoe these were the things that were used a long time ago and you don't see them anymore and there's only one person that I know of in the world that is bringing this back and I mean he's bringing it back at another level I mean he's not just bringing it back and honoring the strongman of the past he's also improving on it and that's why I say this has got to be the best iron horseshoe in history it is phenomenal and I can't thank you enough Robert for sending one to me I am just stoked and of course uh, I'm going to start using it now I think it's a brilliant um, addition to my equipment uh, yeah I, I think I've said enough right I think I've said enough I do hope you have enjoyed watching this video this review on Robert Baraband's iron horseshoe 
this beast of an apparatus. If you are uh, a, a person working on grip strength or just strength in general or want to replicate the bronze era methods, look no further than his website. You're going to be in heaven there. You really are. He's bringing stuff back that was used a hundred years ago and it's just brilliant. Again, if you have enjoyed watching this video, Please, in the review, please give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't to the Golden Era Book Home. Uh, leave me a comment. Thank you for watching. Please like, please share, share this around, share this video. Um, yeah, if you'd like to support my research, my work, please donate via PayPal. Um, whew, I'm lost for words now. Uh, yeah, be become a Patreon. Uh, and uh, of course, visit my website for out of print books and courses. You'll find an Iron Horseshoe one, by the way there from George F. Jowett himself because I believe also George F. Jowett had one. Um, yeah and I mean you know, he was a strong man. This is the kind of stuff that they used back then to develop that superhuman power. Um, again if you put your hands on this you're going to realize how much strength it takes to actually open this up. Yeah uh, so yeah you're going to find all these old bronze era courses on my website too and if you want to get in touch to collaborate or to pass on your bodybuilding relics uh, please email me. Um, yeah, that's all I've got to say. I mean, yeah, <laughs> I'm still lost for words. I take this out of the box and I'm just wowed. I am wowed again and again. It is a monster. It is a monster. It's fantastic. Hope you've enjoyed the video. This is the Golden Era Bookworm. Bye for now.